This was pretty much expected, but what exactly did MSCI say that South Korea needed to do in order to be elevated? Good morning, Heidi. So MSCI said it's keeping South Korea and the emerging market benchmark as expected, and this decision is seen as the most important, even as South Korea is considered a developed market by other index provider. MSCI has the largest uh, market share in the index business, so this uh, announcement was closely watched. Um, MSCI had a long statement on what South Korea has to do in the future, and what, but it also has paid close attention to what South Korea has been doing. So so far, it did acknowledge that the Korean government has been um, announcing reform measures, including expanding the English language disclosure for the firms, expanding the currency trading hours and other smaller points. Um, but it also said that the company needs to see how this measure is implemented and how this, these measures will be received by the market participant. So it's going to take time for MSCI to launch some consultation process, which it does before it, this, it makes decisions on the market reclassification. What are the major sticking points here? So uh, among the major sticking points, um, Heidi, is the currency trading hours. All the developed markets are have their currency traded for 24 hours. However, South Korean won is still traded during the South Korean business hours. And the South Korean government has said that it will, starting late 2024, extend the trading hours of the Korean won to London hours. And we will, it remains to be seen whether that will be enough. But we will have to also see um, whether market participants see that is enough for trading hours for the South Korea. The other really interesting sticking point that MSCI pointed out this time is that the restriction of exchange data for the creation of financial product, which has not been addressed by the South Korean government this time, this restriction is imposed by the uh, by the Korea exchange, and it remains to be seen whether a Korea exchange is going to make any changes on the restriction of this of the use of its exchange data. When is the earliest that South Korea could join the MSCI developed market list? And would that be all good news? Because I remember we talked about how that could actually pressure Korean assets. Yes, that's right. So it's going to take some time, but uh, some investors said it's just a matter of time that South Korea will join the developed market list someday. Um, it first needs to be placed on the DM watch list before it joins the finally, finally get upgraded to the DM. Um, and that process may take some time because MSCI wants to wait and see how the government's reform measures are implemented and then be assessed by the international investors before it launches the consultation measures. Um, and even if it gets the upgrade, uh, we have uh, heard from a lot of investors saying the South Korea may see foreign uh, investors outflows and inflows because it accounts for such a huge part of the EM benchmark and it's going to be a smaller fish in a bigger pond if it joins the DM benchmark.